Hello, today we are going to solve one question from IIT Jam Biotechnology 2019. As we know that the Jam is one of the most important examination in our country for those students who want to join IITs to pursue their master's degree courses. So this is the question number 22 from section A. Therefore, it is an MCQ type question. Hence, only one option is correct among these given four options. So let us let's see what is in this question. Which one of the following statements is incorrect with respect to bacterial conjugation? Whether it is the first one that is it fel felicitates transfer, uh, transfer for uh, transfer of genetic material or it is uh, requires for flagellum or it can be spread antibiotic resistance. It can spread antibiotic resistance or it can transfer virulence factors. As we know that bacterial conjugation is the transfer of genetic material, bacterial conjugation is the transfer of genetic material between bacterial cells. by direct cell to cell contact or by a bridge like connection between two cells. This takes place through a pilus. Okay. It is a mechanism of horizontal gene transfer. It is a mechanism of horizontal gene transfer as a transformation and transduction although as a transformation and transduction although these two other mechanisms do not involve cell to cell contact. Okay. Now classical E. coli bacteria conjugation, classical E. coli bacteria conjugation is often regarded as the bacterial equivalent of sexual reproduction. Okay. Or mating seems it involves the exchange of genetic material. involves the exchange of genetic material. However, it is not sexual reproduction since no exchange of gamete occurs. However, 
it is not a sexual okay and indeed no exchange of new organism instead an existing organism is transferred instead an existing organism has transferred during classical e coli conjugation the donor cell provide a conjugative or mobilization genetic element that is most often a plasmid or transposon okay and most conjugate plasmids have systems ensuring that the recipient cell doesn't already contain a similar element okay the genetic information the genetic information transferred is often beneficial to the recipient benefits may include antibiotic resistance antibiotic resistance xenobiotic tolerance or the ability to use ability to use in new metabolic metabolites such beneficial plasmids may be considered bacterial endosymbionts beneficial plasmids may be considered bacterial endosymbionts other elements however may be viewed as bacterial parasites and conjugation as a mechanism involved by them to allow for their spread conjugation as a mechanism evolved by them to allow for their spread okay 
Therefore, the right answer for this question is option B. That is, it requires flagellum. Okay, so we have successfully answered this question and that's all for today. Thank you very much.